Alright, so it's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm up doing what I do best. Uh, I just figured out how to adapt a piece of code that um, I think Jim Stute was the guy that wrote this one wire uh, library for the Arduino. And then uh, there's a guy on uh, Daily Duino, McGellan, I think his name is that uh, helped write up all the rest of this code. So basically what all this garbage does is uh, we set up a loop and void it the baud rate 9600 then a couple other lines to make sure that we convert things to bytes properly. Uh, this is just some searching to make sure that everything is being sent back the way it's supposed to be. Then a bunch of garbage that I commented out because I didn't really need it to print. This stuff is here to print just in case the information coming back from the temp center is invalid. Blah, 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 a couple of delays. Anyway, you can look this all up on Daily Duino. Essentially what I did was I got rid of all the garbage and the only thing I'm having it print right now is right here. Hole, which is the hole number like 79 degrees. A dot so 79 point and then the fraction, the fractional part, which would be like in this case something like 79.92 degrees. Uh, then it returns everything to infinity and then what I've done, uh, I know the comment says a 4.2 second delay, but really I changed this number to 900,000 milliseconds, which I think is uh, 15 minutes, because I really don't need uh, four second updates on the temperature to see what happens overnight in my bedroom. Uh, so I've already verified it and compiled it and uploaded it to Arduino, but we'll just do it again. So this is the uploading to Arduino and Arduino Flash and be happy while it's uploading. See the orange lights? They're off now. Now it's running. Okay, so what we've got is the Arduino all the information is going through this yellow cable, it's on pin 10 and then all I've got is a ground on uh, green and black on positive, I believe the 3.34 or 3.3 volts uh, wiring is messy, I didn't have a 4.7k uh, pull up resistor so I just took three resistors and made you know my own and the temp sender is that little black thing right there. And it's ultra sensitive. I was surprised. Anyway, and so then what I've done, because I want to data log, is from the TX pin, which is that far green right there. That's the TX pin. Put this green cable right here, over here, onto the data logger logomatic version 2. This is from SparkFun. These are awesome, and I've got a 2 gig micro SD in there. Right now it's hooked up to the computer so I can show you something. But uh, And it's uh, turned on and charging. It's got a LiPo battery, lithium polyum, and I discovered that it does have to be grounded. Otherwise, it just plain don't work. Alright, so, here's the gig. Uh, this is it here. This is the logomatic. And uh, I've got it set up for a trigger read. And I've got it printing a trigger, I didn't show you that. Uh, it's just the dollar sign, it's nice and easy. And then it reads a seven, seven letter frame. Okay, so that's how Logomatic is set up. And you get something that looks like this. Dollar sign, 77.32, dollar sign, 77.55, dollar sign, 77.77. Now this is readings, that, these are readings that I was taking every, uh, half a second so you know they don't change 77.77 77 blah 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 anyway uh, pretty cool uh, very very sensitive little thermometer uh, temp sender so we've got it uploaded and I'll show you kind of what oh it apparently hasn't taken oh there there it is there's the first reading 15 minute reading right there 78 anyway so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to turn this thing on and in order to do that you have to disconnect 
Damn it. Turn the power off. And that's it. When uh, the logomatic's running in TX mode, you don't get the flashing stat 1 and stat 0 to let you know that you're doing anything right. Just the constant USB, which I believe is its way of telling us that it's doing a, uh, a uh, serial read instead of uh, you know, an analog to digital and ADC read. So, anyway, got it all set up. I'm going to let it run overnight. Uh, which isn't going to be too long because it's already 1.14 in the morning. <sighs> and see what happens tomorrow. So every 15 minutes we're going to know the temperature and it's going to be logged on my 2 gig chip. See what happens. Catch you later.